I want to talk about limits and end behavior for functions. Let's take a look at a function f of x equals 10x over x minus 2. What happens as x goes to infinity? Now, I can't plug infinity into this function to find out, but I can uh, take limits as x approaches infinity. Let's take a look at the function itself, f of x. Now, right now, 10x over x minus 2. You can see that both the numerator and denominator are going to get very, very big as x moves towards infinity. So that's, it's not clear exactly what's happening. But one thing that can make it clear is a little algebraic trick that gets rid of the uh, x's. I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 1 over x. This is usually not a desired move, but here it's going to be very useful. When I multiply the top by 1 over x, the x is canceled. I'm left with 10. And when I multiply the bottom, I have to distribute. I have 1 over x times x. I get 1 minus 2 over x. It's a lot easier to see what happens as x goes to infinity when you look at the function written in this form. right? This is exactly the same function as this. But in this form, you can see that as x goes to infinity, this term is going to 0. And so the rest is going to 10 over 1 minus 0. So the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is the limit as x approaches infinity of 10 over 1 minus 2 over x. Now this piece goes to 0, so this limit is 10 over 1 minus 0, or 10. Let's try this trick on the limit as x approaches negative infinity. Now we can still use the fact that f of x equals 10 over 1 minus 2 over x. So the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x is the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 10 over 1 minus 2 over x. That's a negative. Now, as x approaches negative infinity, this quantity is still going to go to 0. So this limit is still 10 over 1 minus 0, or 10. Oops, 10. Now, what does it mean that it approaches, that the function's value approaches 10 as x approaches infinity, or as x approaches minus infinity? Well, let's take a look at the graph. As x approaches infinity, the, val the value of the function approaches 10. That means it approaches this horizontal line, y equals 10. That indicates the presence of a horizontal asymptote. And the same thing, as x approaches negative infinity, the values are approaching 10. They're approaching from below, but they're still headed towards this number 10. And so both of those limits indicate that y equals 10 is a horizontal asymptote. And here's our definition of horizontal asymptote. y equals b is a horizontal asymptote for the graph of a function y equals f of x if the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is b or if the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x equals b. You only need one of these to be true in order for y equals b to be a horizontal asymptote.